do white people really come from the Caucasus mountains the Caucasus mountains the name Caucasus is a Latinized form of Caucasus, which the ancient Greek geographers and historians used. The Russian Kavkaz is of the same origin. The ultimate derivation is thought to be from Kaz-Kaz, the name for a people living on the southern shore of the Black Sea. This ancient nomenclature reflects the historical importance of the region. Pliny the Elder's Natural History 77 to 79 AD derives the name of the Caucasus from a Scythian name Caucasus which supposedly means shimmering with snow. German linguist Paul Kreschmer notes that the Latvian word cuvasis also means ice, actually frozen mud. According to German theologists, Otto Schrader and Alphonse A. Nering, the ancient Greek word Caucasus is connected to Gothic Hals, I, as well as Lithuanian Caucus, Hillock, and Kalkara, Hilltop. British linguist Adrian Room claims that Kal also means mountain. And Pelagian. Well, this is speculative given that Pelagian Aboriginal Greeks is so poorly known. In Greek mythology, the Caucasus mountain range was the scene of the sufferings of Prometheus. In Greek mythology, Prometheus, possibly meaning Otho, is a titan god fire. Prometheus was best known for defying the gods by stealing fire from them and giving it to humanity in the form of technology, knowledge, and more generally, civilization. Prometheus, a personification of Forethought, Dictionary, Oxford Languages, Forethought, careful consideration of what will be necessary or may happen in the future. Roman personifications. Roman personifications consisted in assigning human figures to something that is not human, which often appeared on the sides of Roman coins. Characters from the pantheon of deities of Roman mythology were often used. Roman deities or personifications. 
personification ops of wealth. Liberties, personification of freedom. Fortuna, personification of good luck and luck. Canis, personification of singing. Canaan's, Roman deity of singing. Prometheus. The punishment of Prometheus as a consequence of the death of fire and given it to humans is a popular subject in both ancient and modern culture. Zeus, king of the Olympian gods, sentenced Prometheus to eternal torment for his transgression. Prometheus was bound to a rock and an eagle, the emblem of Zeus, was sent to eat his liver. In ancient Greece, the liver was thought to be the seat of human emotions. His liver would then grow back overnight only to be eaten again the next day in an ongoing cycle. Zeus with thunderbolts in his hand. King of the Olympian Greek gods. Zeus is the sky and thunder god in the ancient Greek religion. Who rules as king of the gods on Mount Olympus. Wikipedia Zeus. Zeus is the sky and thunder god in ancient Greek religion who rules as king of the gods on Mount Olympus. Name Zeus is the Greek continuation of Zeus, the name of the proto Indo European god of the daytime sky, also called Zeus, Saturn, Sky Father, deriving from the root Eu to shine, and in its many Derivatives, sky, heaven, God. Wikipedia, Deus, Deus, literally, daylight, sky, God. Deus, Saturn, literally, father, daylight, sky, God. Deus was conceived as a divine personification of the bright sky of the day and the seat of the gods. Gaius was often paired with Degram, the earth mother, in a relationship of union and contrast. The sky over the feather grass covered steppe in Ukraine Deus Vater has been translated as Father Daylight Sky God. Zeus, the Olympian king of the Greek gods. Personification of the sky.
the literal worship of the sky and calling the sky Zeus. The sky with thunderbolts. Zeus. Nature worship. System of religion based on the veneration of natural phenomena. For example, celestial objects such as the sun and moon and terrestrial objects such as water and fire. Nature worship, rituals, animism, religions, and history. Nature worship. Nature worship was the cultural world view of the inhabitants of the Caucasus Mountains region. When we look for the material artifacts and archaeology of the people of this region, it will all be based on items relating to nature worship. The culture has been called pagan and gentile. Nature worship. Nature worship, also called naturalism, is any of a variety of religious, spiritual, and devotional practices that focus on the worship of the nature spirits, considered to be behind the natural phenomena visible throughout nature. A nature deity can be in charge of nature, a place, a biotope, the biosphere, the cosmos, or the universe. Nature worship is often considered the primitive source of modern religious beliefs and can be found in pantheism, deism, panatheism, deism, polytheism, animism, totism, shamanism, and paganism. Forms and aspects of nature worship, animal worship. The term animal worship or zoolatry is an umbrella term designating religious or ritual practices involving animals. This includes the worship of animal deities or animal sacrifice. An animal cult is formed when a species is taken to represent a religious figure. Animal cults can be classified according to their formal features or by their symbolic content. Megalith. A megalith is a large stone that has been used to construct a prehistoric structure or monument, either alone or together with other stones. There are over 35,000 in Europe alone, located widely from Sweden to the Mediterranean Sea. Sky Deity. The sky often has important religious significance. Many religions, both polytheistic and monotheistic, have deities associated with the sky. Star worship, astral theology, astral mysticism, astral religion, astral or stellar theology, also referred to as astral or star worship is the worship of the stars individually or together as the night sky. The planets and other heavenly bodies as deities or the association of deities with heavenly bodies. In anthropological literature, these systems of practice may be referred to as astral cults. 
stone circle. A stone circle is a ring of standing stones. Most are found in northwestern Europe, especially in Britain, Ireland, and Brittany, and typically date from the late Neolithic and early Bronze Age, with most being built from 3000 BC. The best known examples include those at the Henge Monument at Avebury, the Rollwright Stones, and elements within the ring of standing stones at Stonehenge. Scattered examples exist from other parts of Europe. Later, during the Iron Age, stone circles were built in southern Scandinavia. Shamanism is a religious practice that involves a practitioner, shaman, interacting with what they believe to be a spirit world through altered states of consciousness, such as trance. The goal of this is usually to direct spirits or spiritual energies into the physical world for the purpose of healing, divination, or to aid human beings in some other way. Earth religion, earth-centered religion, or nature worship, is a system of religion based on the veneration of natural phenomena. It covers any religion that worships the earth, nature, or fertility, deity such as the various forms of goddess worship or matriarchal religion. Some find a connection between earth worship and the Gaia hypothesis. Earth religions are also formulated to allow one to utilize the knowledge of preserving the earth. Earth religion Origins Claims by Earth Religion Sources According to Marija in Buddhist, pre-Indo-European societies lived in small-scale, family-based communities that practice matrilineal succession and goddess-centered religion. Old Europe Civilization Old Europe Archaeology. Old Europe is a term coined by the Lithuanian archaeologist Marija Mbutis to describe what she perceived as a relatively homogeneous pre Indo European Neolithic and Copper Age culture or civilization in southeastern Europe and part of central eastern Europe centered in the Danube River Valley. Old Europe is also referred to in some literature as the Danube Civilization. Marija Gambutis, the civilization of the goddess, the world of Old Europe. The source, the North Pontic Maykop culture. The North Pontic culture is typified by hill forts and hundreds of Kurgan Timolai grave mounds with mortuary houses built of stones or wood. Archaeologists 
have carefully documented the history and culture of the people associated with the culture of Old Europe. Old Europe are the people groups written about in the book of Genesis, chapter 10. The children of Japheth. Makeup culture. The makeup culture. 3700 BC to 3000 BC was a major Bronze Age archaeological culture in the Western Caucasus region. The culture takes its name from a royal burial, the Maykop Kurgan, in the Kuban River Valley. Region of the Caucasus Mountains, Maykop. Maykop culture. You can now look at the faces of some of Britain's earliest inhabitants. This Cro-Magnon man was actually found in France. However, archaeologists say it is likely there were similar populations of Cro-Magnons living in the UK at the same time. Cro-Magnons were anatomically modern humans who lived in Europe. 40,000 to 10,000 years ago. They were heavily built and tall in stature, with a short, wide face and a large brain. Early Cro Magnets, like the man pictured, would have coexisted with Neanderthals, and DNA evidence suggests they would have had dark skin. Kurgan, Maykop, Burial. The early Kurgan, Kurgan 1 period, 5th millennium BC. The latter represented by massive European Pro Magnet C type people with an admixture of Caucasoid elements. Kurgan Maykop Burial, Pro Magnon. Caucasus Region, the Maykop Population. Historically, the Caucasus Mountains Range was originally associated with dark complexion people. In Greek mythology, the Caucasus mountain range was the scene of the sufferings of Prometheus and Jason of the Argonauts, King Aetes of Caucasus, region of the Caucasus mountains. And the Argonauts sought the golden fleece in the land of Colchis. King of Colchis. Aetes, Caucasus, Caucasus Mountains Region, Caucasus, Britannica, the peoples of the region have exhibited an extraordinary ethnic and cultural diversity since early times. The Caucasians, for example, as described in the 5th century BCE by the Greek historian Herodotus were black-skinned Egyptians. Though their true origin remains unclear, in subsequent centuries, 
successive waves of peoples migrating across Eurasia added to and were molded by the more established groups in the region. Not surprisingly, a greater variety of languages is spoken in Macasia than in any other area of similar size in the world. Herodotus describes the people of Colchis as dark complexioned with woolly hair. Circe, famed for her magical powers, is represented as a Negro woman. Some writers think the drawing grotesque because its features aren't Greek, but it is racially correct. Circe, according to the legends, was the daughter of Aetes, king of Colchis, and Herodotus say Cochin were Negroes. Circe's sister was Medea, famous sorceress, associated with Jason and the Golden Fleece. She was honored as a goddess at Corinth and figures much in the writings of Pindar, Euripides, and others. Nature Knows No Color Line, page 36. Circe, Sorceress, in Homer's Odyssey. Circe, daughter of King Aetes of Colchis. King Aetes has another daughter, Medea, and Jason. Medea aided Jason in his search for the Golden Fleece. Medea murders her own sons by Jason. She then flees to the city of Athens. Media. In Greek mythology, media, perhaps implying planner, schema, is the daughter of King Aetes of Colchis, a niece of Circe, or sister, and the granddaughter of the sun god Helios. Media figures in the myth of Jason and the Argonauts. Media plays the archetypical role of helper mating, aiding Jason in his search for the Golden Fleece by using her magic to save his life out of love. Once he finished his quest, she abandons her native home of Caucasus and flees westward with Jason, where they eventually settle in Corinth and get married. After 10 years of marriage, Jason abandons her to wed King Priam's daughter, Creesa. Later, she murders her own sons by Jason before fleeing for Athens, where she eventually marries King Aegeus. What happens afterwards varies According to several accounts, Herodotus in his histories mentions that she ended up leaving Athens and settling in the Iranian plateau among the Aryans, who subsequently changed their name to the Medes. The Aryans changed their name in 
honor of media, according to Greek mythology, the Medes. This was the opinion of the Greeks based on mythology, not historical fact. Media, the land of the Medes. A Mede and a Persian. The Apadana Palace, 5th century BC. Achaemenid bas relief shows a Mede soldier behind a Persian soldier in Persopolis, Iran. Medes. The Medes were an ancient Iranian people who spoke the Median language and who inhabited an area known as Media between western and northern Iran. A Mede and a Persian. Medes and their tribes. According to the histories of Herodotus, there were six Median tribes. One tribe, the Magi. The six Median tribes resided in Media proper. In present day Iran. Of the Median tribes, the Magi were of a sacred caste which ministered to the spiritual needs of the Medes. The Magi were priests of the Medes. Medes, Persopolis, Iran. Reliefs, 550-350 B.C. Medes, sons of Japhet. Greek scholars during antiquity would base ethnological conclusions on Greek legends and the similarity of names. According to the histories of Herodotus 440 BC, the Medes were formerly called by everyone Arians. But when the Cochaean woman, Media, came from Athens to the Arians, they changed their name like the Persians did after Perseus, son of Perseus, and Andromeda. This is the Medes' own account of themselves. The Medes were the Aryans of history. The Medes, the Aryans. Aryan, or Arya, is a term originally used as an ethnocultural self-designation by Indo-Iranians in ancient times, in contrast to the nearby outsiders known as non-Aryans. The Aryans, the name Ari Zantoi, listed by Greek historian Herodotus as one of the six tribes composing the Iranian Medes, is derived from the old Iranian Arya Zantoi, having Aryan lineage. Herodotus also mentions that the Medes once called themselves Aroi.
the Medes. To me, Germans who are very pale and Ethiopians who are very black seem more beautiful than those who appear to be mixed of both. Egyptians who are swarthy and Medes who are dark. Why is it not obvious? Should we not prefer the highest in beauty, the most beautiful of all, the highest in learning, the one endowed with the highest virtue to the middling in beauty? Dialectical Disputations by Lorenzo Valla, 1407 to 1457. The Medes are dark. The original Aryans were a dark complexioned nation. The Medes, Madai, sons of Japhet, grandson of Noah. Genesis chapter 10, verse 2. Do white people really come from the Caucasus? How Caucasians got their name? The Caucasus is a difficult and complicated place. One Russian political scientist told the Financial Times, referring to the small mountainous region between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea that comprises Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. Wait, do white people really come from the Caucasus? It's highly unlikely. It is highly unlikely. According to the article, it's highly unlikely that the Caucasus mountain range was the original homeland for people who are now classified as white. The article continues. There are scholarly disagreements about how and when some of our dark-skinned ancestors develop lighter skin. The article also admits that scholars agree that originally people who were classified as white were once dark-skinned. So why do we call white people Caucasians? The term was popularized by the German scientist Johann Friedrich Blumenbach. He considered the Caucasians to be the first race on earth, consistent with the common conception of the Caucasus as a place of human origin. The Bible describes Noah landing his ark at a place called Mount Ararat which was thought by Europeans of Blumenbach's time to be on the modern Turkish Armenian border. Ararat is still the name of the largest mountain in Turkey. In Greek mythology, Zeus changed Prometheus to a rock in the Caucasus. The Caucasus mountain range was originally the area where mankind started over after the biblical flood. Originating from the Caucasus mountain range is synonymous with Mount Ararat, the Ark of Noah, and the Flood. It's not a race or ethnic 